Overload champions, we all hate them. They are the most frustrating champions of Destiny 2, period. Depending on what weapon you're using to get a stun, the stun can actually be difficult to do, and if they get away from you, they regenerate all their health, and depending on what the content are that you're doing, they can actually wipe you out completely. In Season 15, there's a combo that completely obliterates overloads and also allows you to deal with all the champions in whatever activity you're doing. Also, you get infinite shards for stasis out of this combo, and if you're running a Warlock, you can get infinite Bleak Watcher turrets, again, just utilizing this combo that I'm going to go over in this video. This video isn't a full-fledged build, but it is a good overview of how you can easily handle champions in Season 15 and make Master Law Sectors and Master and Grandmaster Nine Falls super, super easy. First, let's talk about Resonant Siphon. Resonant Siphon, you can get back Grenade, Melee, and Class Ability Stasis Energy back every time you stun a champion. This mod is available in the Seasonal Track within Season 15, so it's pretty easy to get. What I found out is that when I stun a champion, I get about a third of my ability across all three categories, and that's for a very standard, just average build. This isn't just when you stun a champion, it's when anyone in your fire team does. If you're in GMs, you are constantly stunning champions, and there are waves of them. So if you have two or three champions up at a time, and your entire fire team is stunning them, then you're going to get your turrets back almost instantly throughout the entire game. I have easily had multiple turrets up constantly just from this alone, no other special abilities or mods or anything else. Now to add that, let's add Le Monarch, and it's really overpowered. Le Monarch has the ability to spread poison damage over a area based on getting precision hits on an enemy. So you can stun an overload, which drops a poison, and the poison can re-stun the overload champions. If you have two or three overloads next to each other, it's kind of fun game to have the poison re-stun them without doing anything. You can literally just see stun champion, stun champion, stun champion without you having to do anything else. The poison also will take out the adds around the champion. Each time one of the stuns happens, you get ability energy back. So even without a fire team and say a master law sector, you can continuously get your turret, rift, and melee back to make it super easy to clear out those solo activities as well as higher level grandmaster content. I was able to get a few of my solo master law sectors that I had been waiting on and not finishing, purely with these two things in place. In addition to this, as you freeze enemies, you'll get elemental shards if you run Glacial Harvest. So, again, if you're if you're freezing champions, you're going to get a ton of those. If you're going to freezing adds, there's literally going to be a ton of shards sitting all over the battlefield. And those shards will allow you to enable your elemental well builds if you run elemental shards. So you can see, again, there's probably tons of builds you can make with this. And it's very, very easy to pair these things together. For instance, if you run Whisper of Rhyme, it'll allow you to get an overshield with those shards. Now, it takes about, on the Warlock, I think it takes something like maybe six to eight of those to get a full overshield. But again, you can get about that many just from what you're doing with champions and with other adds fairly, fairly easily. In addition, if you're looking for a ton of protection, you could pair with this Elemental Charge, which when you pick up wells, it gives you Charge of Light. And again, your Elemental Shards with Elemental Shard mod will do that for you. And then you could also run Protective Light with that. So again, you can get a ton of overprotection for those endgame activities. Again, with this combo, this really makes Master Lost Sectors and GMs much more manageable while allowing you to control champions, freeze the entire battlefield, and easily control adds with a Monarch's Poison Attack. Try this out and let me know how it works out. Again, jump into my Discord, just let's talk through it. But for me, it's been a game changer. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump into my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.